Is your vehicle in need of a quick oil change or tune-up before hitting the road this summer? Stop by Quick Lube and Tune, the home of the good guys at 610 South Wenatchee Avenue. It's time for NCW Life News on the NCW Life Channel. The latest from the Wenatchee Valley and North Central Washington with Steve Hare, Grant Olson, and Sports with Eric Grandstrom. Good Friday evening and welcome to NCW Life News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window and Boy, what a difference a day makes. Still a little bit hazy and a little bit smoky out there today as we look down uh, Wenatchee Avenue to the north. Of course, the Coast Hotel off to the right. Things are a little bit better today. We can't see the foothills and visibility better than just a couple of blocks that we had a few days ago. So things will continue to get better as we take a look at your Saturday forecast and as we head into the upcoming weekend. Things will improve. In fact, we will cool down. It'll almost feel like fall out there tomorrow with high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s. And as I mentioned, just a chance for areas of smoke and a little bit of haze. We'll talk more about that weather change coming our way a little bit later on in your weather forecast. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. For the first time, potential plans are made public on the Three Fingers Fill at Lake Chelan. We'll have an update on fires throughout the region and Wenatchee police officers grow facial hair for a men's health fundraiser. Later on, we'll have sports, your weather forecast, and our feature story today. But first, former Douglas County Commissioner Mary Hunt, her husband and two sons have pleaded guilty to misdemeanor firearms charges. The plea deal, which will dismiss federal indictments, returned in December against Mary and her husband Terry and the couple's two sons, Rusty and Derek, was struck with prosecutors in the Eastern District Federal Court. The Hunts were originally charged with felony conspiracy, dealing firearms without a license, and making false statements in the purchase of a firearm. The charges were brought after undercover agents with the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives conducted a sting by posing as buyers at a Reno, Nevada gun show. Sentencing for the Hunts is scheduled for December 7th. They face a possible one-year prison term on each charge and a fine of up to $100,000. A company breaks its silence on a legal saga as it approaches finality, making its future plans for the Three Fingers Fill on Lake Chelan public for the very first time. Goodfellow Brothers Incorporated spoke to the Chelan community during an August 22nd City Council meeting explaining that they hired the same company who designed Don Morse Park on Lake Chelan. The renderings released show multi- and single-family housing with a community clubhouse and pool, along with many public areas with water and beach access and a lakeside trail. The company also plans for two businesses to operate on the property with a commercial building that they hope uh, will be a restaurant that will call home. Goodfellow Brothers is asking for community feedback on the plans. Visit ncwlife.com for more on this story. An update on area fires now, and there wasn't significant growth in our four major area fires the past couple of days. The Uno Peak Fire, burning 15 miles northwest of Manson, is now at 6,900 acres and continues to burn grass and timber in steep terrain. Fire crews have begun constructing fire lines in the Nelson Butte area and are working towards Lake Chelan. Priority today is still focused on controlling the spread of the fire toward Manson and protecting campground facilities in the area. Meanwhile, the Jolly Mountain Fire has consumed 26,325 acres and continues to burn about seven miles northwest of Cleelum. The fire is burning extremely dry timber, short grass, and a large amount of standing and down trees. The area has only received one-tenth of an inch of moisture since June 1st. Firefighters will implement defense measures for structures that remain at risk. Those will be along the Cleelum River Corridor. The Diamond Creek Fire, burning 12 miles north of Mazama, has now burned 105,000 acres. With heavy smoke in the vicinity of the fire, it remains hung up in rocky terrain just over Butte Pass at the head of Monument Creek. It's fueled by heavy dead and downed timber stands in the area, and the perimeter is currently 65% contained. Well, for the next three months, participating Wenatchee police officers will begin sporting full beards or goatees. It's in recognition of Movember, an annual fundraising event to promote awareness for prostate and testicular cancers. 
The Wenatchee Police Officers Guild and individual officers will make donations to a local charity on behalf of this fundraiser. At the end of November, the charity selected to receive the collected donations will be announced. Clean-shaven photographs will be compared by, with an end of November photograph to determine the winner. This is also a three-month trial period to determine whether to allow officers to wear facial hair on a daily basis. Coming up, local Hispanic graduates were honored last night with scholarships from the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and Stamilt Growers rolls out a new apple variety to the market. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching NCW Life News. No matter what your age or ailment, when you wake up each day with a sense of purpose, life has meaning and joy. Just wait a while, it'll get in the hole somewhere. <laughs> Helping you do this is our purpose. Highgate Senior Living, each day to the fullest. The best thing about my life right now is me. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm nervous. Selling your home, it's a big step. Can we find the right buyer in this market? Look at our website. When someone looks at your home, I can tell how ready they are to buy. See that number? The closer it is to 100, the closer they are to buying. So, I know who to zero in on. So you have a secret weapon. You mean, we have a secret weapon. I like that. Oh, what do you think of the wallpaper? I love that touch. For a limited time, purchase any super clean pre-owned vehicle in stock at Leonard Evans Juice Car Superstore and get your choice of a free family four-pack season pass to Slidewater's Lake Chelan Water Park or the Wenatchee Super Oval. Choose from over 104 4x4s and all-wheel drive cars and trucks. 50 vehicles priced under 10 grand. And drive away with no money down, no payments for 90 days, and financing from 1.79%. And everybody knows we service what we sell at the Leonard Evans Juice Car Superstore. Leonard Evans, where the name means a great deal. The Hispanic Chamber honored its own on Thursday night at Pibus Market. Partnering with the Empowerment Fund, a number of students were awarded scholarships. We're very excited to bring back the Hispanic Chamber Annual Banquet along um, with the Chamber, us with the Empowerment Fund. Uh, we will be honoring students and giving scholarships uh, all around the North Central Washington area students applied, so we'll be uh, giving out scholarships to nearly 10 students tonight, so we're very excited. We didn't not, we didn't held an event last year, but we're very excited to bring it back this year. Criteria that we use is mainly income need and the necessity. We look at um, the financial struggles that uh, students um, went through and, and overcame and also we look at GPA, minimum GPA is a 2.0 and we understand that sometimes students have a little bit trouble in freshman, sophomore years and we look to give them an opportunity to pursue higher education as well. Columbia Valley Community Health is a, a big, big sponsor for us and they're, they've been very supportive and a great partner uh, for us and they will be in attendance tonight and the keynote speaker will also be from Columbia Valley Community Health. Another really great partner for us is the Wenatchee Valley College Foundation as well. They've been a big support, and of course, the Hispanic Chamber is also uh, sponsoring and partnering with us on handing out several other scholarships. The keynote speaker, Simon Mendoza, spoke about the motivations behind his career. What really got me interested in, in medicine was um, my dad's uh, workplace injury. He was working at a dairy farm and his entire arm got caught in a manure strainer. So he crushed all of his bones up to his uh, shoulder. He was septic uh, and they nearly amputated his limb. So uh, I definitely saw some disparities in the care that he got, some lack of communication, lack of cultural competence from the providers. Uh, and that's really what motivated me to, to go into medicine, to be able to uh, 
uh, break down some of those barriers that our community has um, in accessing health care. In other news, they call it the apple you'll rave about. It's the newest apple variety from Stamilk Growers. Rave is the newest addition to the Stamilk menu, going on the market as part Honeycrisp and heart part Monarch. Brianna Shales from Stamilk tells us more. So Stamilk has a new signature apple variety this year, and it's called Rave. Um, it came from the University of Minnesota. They are also the ones that developed Honeycrisp and Sweet Tango. So they have an apple breeding program there, and back in 2000, they made a cross of Honeycrisp and a variety out of Arkansas that has never been released called Monarch. We don't really tend to think of, um, Mo or of Arkansas as an apple growing place, but the reason that they use that apple is because it can ripen in the late summer. So Rave will actually fully color and ripen at the end of July in a normal crop year. This year it was a tiny bit later because of just we've had a late spring and a later harvest, uh, so it came off the tree in August. But it's very exciting for us at Stemilt because it'll give us a jump start on apple season that others in the industry won't have. Rave has that cut honey crisp crunch that we all love. It's very, very juicy. It's juicier than honey crisp and probably a little tangier. Some people have compared it to Granny Smith, which I don't mm -hmm. fully believe. I think it's got a lot more sugars than that, but it's very tangy and it just leaves you, after you take a bite, it kind of leaves you clamoring for more. It's very refreshing and clean tasting. So I, I love it. This is our very first year having a, a crop that we can take to grocery stores. Here in Wenatchee, you can only find it at the Stemilt retail store and probably only for just a little bit longer because it's got, it has a very short season. Um, but we also have sold some into Seattle at Whole Foods and I'm trying to think of, and then that's probably it for the Northwest region. But it's also been distributed in the Midwest and the East Coast. And then in, by next year, we'll have substantially more volume so you'll again see them here at the Stemilt Retail Store, but then across the U.S. You're watching NCW Life News. Coming up next, your sports update, followed by today's feature story. That and much more still to come on NCW Life News. Stay with us. Every golfer aims to play their best, and smart golfers turn to the golfer's edge to get the golfer's edge. PGA professional Ed Payne has you covered from tee to green. You can work on your swing or play 18 in air conditioned to comfort on the golf simulator. Tanya's Corner has all the apparel the golfer needs at sale prices. And Ed can even rebuild your favorite set of clubs or custom make you a brand new set. Ask how you can qualify for a free 30 minute lesson at the Golfer's Edge on mission between Kittitas and Yakima. Is this really what we're gonna do on our girls night out? We should go to Club Pro. The Bar and Grill in Cashmere? Yeah, let's go. Looking for a fun-filled, friendly hometown atmosphere? Club Crow Bar and Grill in Cashmere is the place to be. Hi, this is Justin. Here at Club Crow, we have full bar and restaurant, live music, a dance floor, pool tables, pull tabs, and live jam sessions the first Sunday of every month. Club Crow in Cashmere, the coolest place in town. Doghouse Motorsports, we ride what we sell. There's a lot we could say about the CD Spark and the CD GTI, but ultimately, the ride says it all. And now, it's a sports update on the NCW Live channel. Happy Finally Friday. Well, the smoke is still here, but not quite as bad as it was yesterday, which the schedule got all messed up yesterday with high school soccer being postponed either to the weekend or to later in the month. They were able to play some volleyball inside last night, so let's see what the Les Schwab scoreboard has for us. When Antje won a wild one in Chelan, dropping the opening set 18 or 25, then winning the second 25-23, losing the third 23-25, winning the fourth 25-15. So to go to a 15-point fifth set, Panthers would win it 15 to 7. Also, Quincy top Cashmere three games to one, and it was uh, Cascade and Ellensburg postponed because of the smoke. 
on the prep calendar for tonight. Well, we'd hope to have some football. We do, actually. When Anchi's on the road at Richland, they will play tonight at 7 o'clock. Cashmere's over on the west side in Sultan. That game is a go. If Freda and Chelan tomorrow, well, it was supposed to play tonight. They're going to move it to tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Now, Cascade is going to play in Peshastin tonight. Evidently, their air is okay there, and they also have a team that's made a big trip into town. Stanfield, Oregon, in town for that game time tonight. Uh, also, Manson's moved their game to Monday night at 7 o'clock against Lake Roosevelt. And yet, meanwhile, on the road at Sherman County, Oregon, uh, they will kick off that one because Oregon not nearly as bad as we are here. On the prep calendar for tomorrow, with all the juggling that's happened, we do have some high school football right here live on the NCW Life Channel starting at 3 o'clock. I'll be along with Grant Olson for your play-by-play -play as the Eastmont Wildcats take on the Walla Walla Blue Devils kick off at 3 at Wildcat Stadium. Also tomorrow, Soap Lake and Waterville will play at 7 o'clock. In soccer, Chelan is at Waluke tomorrow morning at 11, while Cascade hosts Efreda at 1. Manson's at Mabton at 1, Wenatchee at Archbishop Murphy. That was a change because of the smoke. Uh, that will be at 6 o'clock. Pasco and Eastmont also rescheduled because of the smoke until the end of the month. The Wenatchee Wild season starts anew Saturday on the road at Merritt. Their game with the Centennials is at 7 o'clock. It'll be heard throughout the valley. Uh, with our good friend Arch Ecker on the call on Sunny FM. The Wild return for the home opener next Saturday. It's the next to the last race weekend at Wenatchee Valley's Super Oval. Yeah, they're still racing up on Fancher Heights. Featured this weekend on the quarter-mile asphalt track will be the late models, the West Coast late models, the CRL Legends, Street Stocks, Mini Stock Challenge, and the Roadrunners. Gates open at 5. The racing starts at 6 o'clock. Here's what's happening in college football this weekend. Central Washington's at home hosting Western Oregon. That's a 1 o'clock kickoff. Also 1 o'clock kickoff for Eastern Washington on the red carpet against North Dakota State. Montana is in tough tomorrow at Washington at 5. Boise State at Washington State at 7.30. Well, the Mariners are facing a must-win series beginning tonight against the Angels at Safeco Field. Seattle will send Mike Leak to the mound to face the Halos' Ricky Nolasco. First pitch at 7-10. While the M's were off yesterday, they were only a couple of games affecting the wild card playoffs. In those games, New York beat Baltimore 9-1, and Minnesota topped Kansas City 4-2. Yankees maintain a two-and-a-half game lead over Minnesota for the two wild card spots. Right now, anyway, the Halos come in. Uh, Orioles also tied two games back. Texas at two-and-a-half back. Kansas City is three-and-a-half back, while the Mariners, as we said, must win situation. They're four games out heading into the weekend series. Finally, coming up in the NFL this weekend, the NFC West has Arizona at Detroit Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. The rest of the games are in the afternoon. The Rams will host the Colts at 1, while Carolina is at San Francisco. That kickoff at Levi Stadium at 125. The uh, same kickoff time for the Seahawks in Green Bay to take on the Packers. Now, the game opened with a Packers at a 7-point favorite. That has changed, however, looking at the Vegas odds. This morning, they have narrowed that down to a 3-point differential, still favoring the home team. And you figure a home team, a three-point favorite, that's basically a push because you get three points just for being the home team. So we'll see how the Seahawks do this weekend as they start the 2017 season. Interesting game last night with New England falling in the fourth quarter and falling at home to the Kansas City Chiefs last night to open up the uh, NFL season. So Hawks on the road this weekend. Also, don't forget more high school football tomorrow coming up right here on the NCW Life Channel as Walla Walla 0-1 takes on Eastmont 0-1. Grant and I will have all your play-by-play -play with a pregame at about 2.50 in the afternoon tomorrow and our kickoff at 3. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Grandstrom on the NCW Life Channel. Have a great weekend. Grant, back to you. Thanks, Eric. Today is day two of the 2017 Chelan County Fair in Kashmir. Fair organizer Karen Welch joined Dan Koontz this morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley to talk about all the events still to come. This is going to be big for us. We're so excited. Uh, he'll be rolling into town shortly, setting up, get ready for sound checks, doing everything we have to do, setting up the yeah, grandstands. And at 30 tonight, he takes to the stage. He does. And before him will be the Olsen Bros. They're going to oh, come on at 7. Too. Yeah, right out of Seattle, high energy. Um, excited to hear what they're going to bring to our fairgoers as well. The fair board and you brought in uh, RLS Productions to help kind of we did. Uh, up the ante from an entertainment standpoint. And this has been a really good marriage between you and Robert. Yes, got this stage set up. They'll be doing the lighting. I mean, we can't even do this without some of the sponsors. We have Iron Horse and Sangster Motors and then Pape Materials. So because of their sponsorship, we're able to bring Sammy in. Um, that concert is included in your admission price at the gate. And because of great sponsors and um, 
NCW Life helping too. Mm -hmm. We were able to do a concert for the fairgoers this year. Sammy Kershaw had a bunch of hits in the 90s right into the 2000s. She doesn't know she's beautiful is maybe my favorite song, but when he takes the stage, you're going to hear a lot of songs that you're very familiar with. Well, we've had a few people, you know, say, "Oh yeah, we know every one of his songs. We yeah. sing along. We're going to be there." Yeah. It's, I'm really, really excited. And that's going to be in the main rodeo arena, which is yes. right behind us. And then uh, it's rodeo time on Saturday and Sunday. Yes. Saturday night at 7 p.m. will be our Pro S Rodeo. Um, the, the, uh, all of a sudden, they just drew a blank. We have the Trick Riders coming yes. in. The McMillan family. There we go. The McMillan family Trick Riders will be performing. Um, then they're going to have rodeo again on Sunday at 1 p.m. So uh, that'll be great. Uh, some of the other entertainment we have coming in today will be Jeff Evans doing magic. Uh, he does a great stage, a little comedy put in there mm -hmm. with it. Eric Haynes, who does uh, roaming as the one-man band, also does a stage performance. He's hilarious. I mean, just in person to get a one-on-one -on -one with him. Uh, then, uh, obviously, Predators will be here. Um, then, also today, uh, Chris Burrow. Mm -hmm. Brought in his big pirate ship with I all of his that. exotic. I, oh man, is that you cool! You just might be walking the fairgrounds and see some type of exotic bird in one of our trees. Okay, and it's it's not a mistake. Okay, he's he's able to let birds go, calls them down, they follow him. It, it's amazing, and he also does a really great educational program. We'll be back in just a moment with the recap of some of today's stories and your complete local weather forecast right after this. Frank Ferrari here at Frank's Used Cars. That's right, Frank's Used Cars, where everybody can wear clothes like this. If you come down today, you can buy this truck for $213. That's cheap, but it only lasts today. Right, Fred? Say rest. Or say something. Say something. Forget about Frank. Here at Town Nissan, we're fun, we're fair, and we're fabulous. Town Nissan, behind Costco and East Wenatchee. Having a relationship with your pediatrician is so important. Feeling that sense of trust, that is priceless. I tell everybody about CBCH. I love it there. When I make an appointment, I don't have to take an entire day off. As a working mom, my life is really busy. Family time is everything. That's what we all work towards. And I feel like CBCH respects that. Former Douglas County Commissioner Mary Hunt, her husband and two sons have pleaded guilty to misdemeanor firearm charges. The plea deal, which will dismiss federal indictments, returned in December against Mary and her husband Terry and the couple's two sons, Rusty and Derek, was struck with prosecutors in the East Distri Eastern District Federal Court. The Hunts were originally charged with felony conspiracy, dealing firearms without a license and making false statements in the purchase of a firearm. The charges were brought after undercover agents with the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives conducted a sting by posing as buyers at a Reno, Nevada gun show. Sentencing for the hunts is scheduled for December 7th. They face a possible one-year prison term on each charge and a fine of up to $100,000. An update on area fires now, and there wasn't significant growth in our four major area fires the past couple of days. The Uno Peak Fire, burning 15 miles northwest of Manson, is now at 6,900 acres and continues to burn grass and timber and steep terrain. Crew, fire crews have begun constructing fire lines in the Nelson Butte area and are working towards Lake Chelan. Priority today is still focused on controlling the spread of the fire toward Manson and protecting campground facilities in the area. Meanwhile, the Jolly Mountain Fire has consumed 26,325 acres and continues to burn seven miles northwest of Cleellum. The fire is burning extremely dry timber, short grass, and a large amount of standing and downed trees. The area has only received one-tenth of an inch of moisture since June 1st. Firefighters will implement defense measures for structures that remain at risk along the Cleellum River corridor. The Diamond Creek Fire, burning 12 miles north of Mazama, has now burned 105,000 acres. 
With heavy smoke in the vicinity of the fire, it remains hung up in rocky terrain just over Butte Pass at the head of Monument Creek. It's fueled by heavy dead and downed timber stands in the area, and the perimeter is currently 65% contained. Time now for your weather forecast for north central Washington. And before we get to that, let's take another look outside our weather window. And the good news today, not quite as smoky as we've seen, boy, the past week or so where our air has just been choked with smoke. More of a haze today than a smoke, although there's still not the greatest air quality out there. In fact, our air quality alert that was supposed to expire at noon today has now been extended until Monday at noon. So you know what that means. We're not going to completely get rid of this smoke. We'll still have some widespread haze. So beginning tonight, we will see a pattern change in our weather. The ridge of high pressure has now moved into Montana and the Dakotas, which is allowing a moisture southerly, a moisture southerly flow from Hurricane Katya to bring a few clouds and very scattered shower activity to mainly extreme eastern Washington. Notice on satellite that there is also an approaching Pacific trough and cold front. This front is fairly weak and will slowly push through the area tonight, bringing with it breezy winds. This system should scour out most of the smoke, but as I mentioned, we're not ruling out widespread haze at times throughout this weekend. The cold frontal passage will cool temperatures for both Saturday and Sunday, making it feel more fall-like with seasonal temperatures. By the way, our normal high for right now is 79 degrees. We will warm up on Monday through midweek before another storm system moves our way late next week. So now here's a look at that forecast. Tonight we can expect once again partly cloudy skies, mild overnight low temperatures tonight as well. We'll drop down to 63 degrees, expect some windy conditions overnight. Saturday, 79 for our high, right where we should be for this time of year. Saturday night, mostly cloudy, windy once again, and about 56 for our low. 81 as we end our weekend on Sunday, and then that warm-up begins on Monday. 86 Monday and sun, 89 for your high temperature on Tuesday, and then we will begin a cool down once again, and by next Thursday, sunshine, 79 for our high, and 55 for our low temperature. And as we leave you tonight, college football is underway, and you can't start Washington State Cougar football without paying homage to the popcorn guy. Fourth quarter, see what Marks can come up with here. <laughs> this that, guy, that, I mean, that's, <laughs> a, that's a young Matt what Millen is, right there. What is he <laughs> doing, Millen? That what? is beautiful. <laughs> you got somebody, somebody get some wet naps out there. <laughs> We need a cleanup in section 307. Little guys are waving a flag, and this guy, he waved the flag there's, of popcorn some moments ago. Right there. He is my MVP he tonight. It's beautiful. I mean, he's got the still hat working. This is moments ago. Look at, he's, he wanted that popcorn, and he was going to enjoy every last kernel of that sucker. <laughs> you got an that. oxygen tank around here? I may need uh, some. Look at, look I guarantee that. our popcorn guy is going to be on sports. He's got to be on sports. There show. he is. There he is. Just oh, let that rain come he down clean just, yourself right up he doesn't even know it's raining <laughs> <laughs> who hasn't done that if you have a video of the day you'd like to see on ncw life news message us on our facebook page at the ncw life channel and that's going to do it for our newscast tonight for more on these stories and other news from around north central washington you can find us on facebook or our website at ncwlife.com and remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-NCWL. That's 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great weekend. This has been NCW Life News on the NCW Life channel. For more news, log on to ncwlife.com, like us on Facebook, and follow NCW Life Channel on Twitter.
Reed's Marine and Manson has your boating needs covered, offering the superior Regal lineup with options from 19 to 53 feet. With the Regal Express line, you have the freedom to explore with an innovative interior and the largest headroom in its class. Don't forget the roomy cockpit with seating to fit the whole family. From 26 to 32 feet, Reed's Marine has the Regal Express to fit your needs. View our current inventory at chelanboat.com or stop by our Manson showroom on beautiful Lake Chelan and see the entire Regal line. Wenatchee Valley College is now offering four-year degrees. The need for engineering technologists is rapidly growing, and the new Bachelor of Applied Science in Engineering Technology is designed to meet the needs of local employers. Students with an associate degree can complete the program in only two or three years. Don't wait. The program is accepting just 20 students for fall quarter. Apply now at wvc.edu slash engineering tech.